Here at NextGen 14, I'm talking to David Brunnan. David, you've produced a paper on municipal enterprise and also presented at NextGen, and there we have a copy right there for us. Can I start off by just asking you what exactly that is? Right. Well, first of all, it's not an oxymoron. Municipal enterprise is basically about local governments investing with business to create profits which they then retain to help offset local taxation rates and so on. Uh, there's some examples in uh, Canada that I'm particularly fond of. Um, they have a strategy of actually eliminating all property taxes simply from the profits of the new ventures and the jobs that they create in partnership with businesses. Well, as a taxpayer myself, that sounds really appealing. How can we get it going in the UK? Well, in the UK we have a special problem because we are very, very severely uh, over-centralised. Um, Whitehall and Westminster have very strict controls on what councils can spend. Uh, they've only been allowed to borrow money for investment from some odd body called the Municipal Works Loans Board. Um, all that is going to change in the spring um, because there's going to be a new uh, prudential borrowing agency set up by the local government association. It'll enable councils to raise commercial funds. They will issue these bonds, 250 million, 200 and 500 million uh, bonds at a time. They'll also be able to, councils will be able to borrow from other councils. Um, and, and this will generate funds for lots of interesting projects. And the reason why it's important, and it's important to talk about it at this conference, is that lots and lots of councils need to invest more in their digital infrastructure uh, in order to enable all those other ventures that they could invest in uh, to take off. Sounds like it's perfect timing from what we've been talking about this week. We've got lots of local authorities here at the conference. Where, where can something like this be most effective? Well, it's, it's actually long overdue, um, but the timing um, could be good. Um, there are three situations um, where, where, where it can be really effective. First of all, um, sometimes people have to respond to a crisis. Sometimes things get so bad that everybody jumps up and down, joins hands together and says, something must be done. Right? The second uh, situation, which is much preferable, is anticipating a crisis. Thinking ahead and realising that you've got to do something, otherwise your local economy will die. Whether that's having the right talents and the expertise, having uh, the, a right sort of immigration policy and so on. Immigrants are inward investors after all. And the third situation in which uh, uh, this municipal enterprise comes into its own is when citizens demand something better. And there's some good examples in the UK of that. Barn up in the, in the north of the country, Broadband for the Rural North, is a very good example of citizens saying, enough is enough, we need something better and demand it. So there's those three um, sort of case situations where, um, where, where this comes into its own, really. And I've got lots of examples in the paper uh, from Eindhoven in, in uh, the Netherlands to uh, Chattanooga in, uh, in America and in uh, the far north of Sweden. Um, Marit Hendricks and myself have travelled the world talking to mayors and civic leaders in all of these places. And there's one question that constantly, persistently arises when we come back. Why are local governments in the UK so lacking in vitality and imagination to do this sort of thing? Most of that answer for that, most of the reason for that is that uh, they've been constrained by central government. This austerity um, cure uh, sometimes uh, exacerbates the problem rather than solves it because you haven't got that local imagination. So, so really what we're saying is that the funding will shortly be available so they can let their imagination uh, not run wild but they, they, they can actually move forward knowing that funding will shortly be available. Yeah, funding may not be available to totally solve the problem but funding will be enabled to 
generate additional matching funds uh, from, from business and, and this really is an important partnership. We have forgotten that back in the 1800s Joseph Bazalgette solved the great stink of London by investing in a proper sewer infrastructure and created the embankment in London. In the Victorian period people knew about municipal enterprise and, and practiced it and understood it. We seem to have, this last 40 years, we seem to have forgotten uh, that uh, they have that energy and local governments have a great role to play. Okay, well let's hope they soon remember and thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.